Hi, I'm Jacques DeVoe from Audio Kinetic. In this quick tip video, we're going to look at how we can attach real-time parameter controls to sound seed impact synthesis parameters. In this particular case, uh, we have an element in the game which is called size. That's the real-time parameter control. And we want to take that information and map it to the real-time synthesis of sound seed impact and use it to actually define and set how these sounds will sound using sound seed impact synthesis. Here we're looking at uh, sound seed impact on a metal anvil sound that we can hear quickly here. So what I want to do is I'm going to use the frequency stretching and the bandwidth stretching and map those to real-time parameter controls. So I've created a game parameter called size which I've mapped here. So here I have my two curves. The blue one is mapped to the bandwidth stretching. It looks like this. And the purple one is mapped to the frequency stretching. And You can see here that I've mapped both to the size. So now the whole point here is that the game will feed me this parameter and I can actually fine tune my curve here to make it sound like a large and small uh, anvil. So if we start off by a small anvil, so now we've moved down to a range of zero, so this is going to sound very small. And I'm just going to slide this down as we play back. That gives you an idea of what it sounds like throughout the real-time parameter range of 0 to 100. Obviously here you have the ability to fine-tune this. For example, there may be a little bit too much resonance at the end of it, so I may want to bring that value up a little bit so that you can hear less resonance. So obviously the power here is to be able to fine-tune my points, uh, go through and play back the entire range here from 0 to 100, and make any necessary changes to those curves. Uh, something else that you should be aware of, uh, let's go back to the main settings here the, of the uh, sound seed effect, is the quality factor is also probably a really good candidate to be used attached to a game sync using real-time parameter controls. The performance of sound seed is controlled by this parameter, so you're selecting the number of modes to be used at runtime, so attaching this to distance, for example, uh, could be very beneficial to reduce the quality of synthesis for objects that are far away and increase the quality of the synthesis for objects that are very close. So that's it. Uh, a quick look at attaching real-time parameter controls to sound seed synthesis parameters. Uh, that's it. See you soon.